Hey there guys, welcome back to Nimby Rails. Uh, we're back in Newcastle again today, going to work on the China and Weir Metro, which is possibly going to be quite a challenge because it's not actually totally clear where any of it goes or what the track layout is. So I'm going to be guessing. I'm thinking I'll probably want to go with uh, 150 meters on the station is probably fine. All things considered. Uh, no, 25. There we go. Got there eventually. 25. Let's have a look at the train quickly. Um, I'm not actually sure I have the right train for the time we're metro. I'm not sure what class it is. It's a 900 something, I think. Um, I'm going to say I probably don't have it. But there's a chance. Oh, I do. Trying to win Metro car. Four car or two units. Two car or one unit. Well, I'm going to want the double unit. Which is 55 metres long. Really? Only 55 metres? Those are very short units. Okay, then. I can probably do with just 100 metres on the platform length. Uh, Newcastle. Then heading north, I want to do Monument, wherever that is. Logically, here by the looks of it. Now the map has a sort of square of roads, which is appearing to be a triangle in real in, on this map. Here it's a triangle. On my other map, it's a square. But I think I've worked it out. So we're going to have, obviously, two tracks. Um, this is going to be called Monument, please. Monument. And then we're going to have another two tracks on a different level. Um, yeah, we'll go, with, we'll go with higher. I'm not sure if these are above or below, strictly speaking, but... We'll go with above. 25, 25. There we go. And then I just want to go up to the next stop as well of Haymarket, which is sort of in this area. So back down to minus two. Put the tracks in. 25 and 25. And now I'm going to connect the tracks together. So, I'm going to keep the tracks being in separate channels. Technically, they come a lot closer together between stations by the looks of it, but I think it'll be easier if I keep them separate. Let's have a look at sort of shifting that to a slightly more reasonable location. That'll do. Um, this was called Haymarket. Haymarket. There we go. Um, as we continue north, we've got Chesmond and West Chesmond. Right, there's... Okay. I've moved the map, so I kind of know where I'm looking. Um, Chesmond is up here. So... It is still underground at this point, but not for long. And it is a paired tunnel now. Jesmond. And then I want West Jesmond, which is a reasonable distance actually. Up here. Uh, out on the surface. 105, that would be fine. West Jesmond. There we go. Get the track, pull it down this way, and it curves off into the station. Kind of want it to be more out like that, I think. Then I'm just going to pop back into the tunnel to connect up to Haymarket, which is sort of like this. 
There we go. Um, coming off next to Chesmond, there is a junction. So, we're talking single track points off like so, and then a switch across to the other track. It looks like this is a stock curve onto the line in here, comes across, not Newcastle, but uh, um, Monument, comes across, which is interesting, because it does all connect up, but I guess this is a much quicker way round, if you need to move the stock quickly. I can see how this would be a better way to do it. It does go double track for a bit, I'm trying to work out where that is, it's there, up to, be yeah, about there, okay then. Um, then single track, so there, and a set of points, which I'm going to make a much more reasonable size, and then down the other end, where do we, where do we go? We sort of, we have a single track here, which dips underneath something. Actually, apparently it's still out in the open here. Oh, if it was going to go underground anywhere, I'd have thought that would be it. But no, it dips underground around there. And then comes out again. In time for the double track. Which is on ground level. And there we go. That comes through, and then that will join up to the other line. But that's not what I'm doing right this second. North of West Jesmond is Ilford Road. So, what are we talking? That's sort of up here. Okay. Um, here. Oh, this is an interesting uh, estate. That's not one you'd normally see. It's an unusual design. Um... Ilford Road, yes. It is a double track. Much like the rest of the metro. Ilford Road. There we go. And South Gosforth. And strictly speaking there's a um, there's a siding between the two. I'm not sure I'm necessarily going to put it in. I should put it in, really, shouldn't I? Okay, let's connect the track up and then I'll put the siding in. I'm not sure why there's a siding here. I mean, the depot's only like one stop further up the line, but. If you're going to put a siding somewhere, you put it where the depot isn't, typically. Out of there and into the siding. And then across to the other track, and that's going to need some adjusting. Like so. Sorted. South goes forth. Then we have a split. So that's going to be interesting. Trying to work out what side of the split I want to do. Okay, let's go build the station at Regent Centre. That's up here. Um, but the station is underground and the stuff either side of it is not. But okay. Station. Um, the underground, please. Then I need to give you a name, Regent Centre. We're British, so it's RE. That's an easy one to forget. The line, one line curves out that way, the other one splits off and curves out this way. And round. And across. There we go. In terms of the depot, that's complicated. 
Right. Um, I'm really not sure what I want to do with that, honestly. What it looks like is we want a track along here, to about there. A switch up from there to there. And across from there down here. Then another switch up to there with entrance into two sidings off of it. There's a dual track that comes along here. and points across that allow us to get onto the side we just built down here. Then a junction off there which comes up to that track and also splits out to that one with a junction across to the other line. I might leave the depot at that for now. Like, that's the entrance. It's it's not actually, like, I, I'm probably going to simplify it in reality, but that's all I'm doing for now. Because I want to carry on building the line, basically. <laughs> There's apparently another siding. I don't know what it is on the metro with putting a sidings in the stations or at, next to the stations next to the depots typically so typically the siding, sidings are placed where it would be good to have them in terms of like having a train ready to start service in the morning um, obviously you can store the trains in the depots but if the depot is at one end of the line then getting a train to the other end of the line to start in the morning requires quite a long journey with it not in service and the line can be closed for less time so if you put a siding at the other end you can store a train there ready for service the next day Tidalwood Metro seem to be chucking sidings next to the depots which is not really this in the same vein But fair enough. That was Wandsbrook Road. Next is Forden, then Kingston Park. Forden appears to be split either side of a level crossing. Um, yeah, strictly speaking, I can do that. Kind of. I can, but it's not ideal. Pick a parent. Pick a parent. Pick a parent. I should have, um, this that long, and then pick parent. And there we go. What are we going to call it? Forden. That's probably as neat as I'm going to get it. Next stop is... Kingston Park. Again, miles apart. Why would you do this? It's really not easy to work with. Date, pick parent, flip. Hundred and two, pick parent, flip. Are you not the same station? For well, now you are. <laughs> uh, Kingston Park. 
I just need to go and make sure. That one was one station, wasn't it? Yes. Um, bank foot. Oh, I can do bank foot. That's okay. You're not staggered, so you're an easy one to build. How big is that primary school that two different stations have pulled its name? Oh, it is right in the middle of the two. It is a reasonably large one. And then further line along, Colleton Parkway is up here. Not Walsington. Colleton Parkway. Or is that Callerton? It is Callerton. The difference between O's and A's on the map I'm using is not very distinct. In my defence. Um, it's either called Airport or Newcastle International Airport. Which would be better, do we reckon? I need to put it in first and um, split the platforms apart. It's an island platform. Uh, we'll go with Newcastle International Airport, so that appears to be what it's decided to go for itself. Then we'll build the tracks up there. Uh, coming out of there on a straight would be ideal. There we go. And straight. And we have to do the same out of here. And that will then need to be immediately curved. This way is a bit more flexible. We'll wrap round the bottom of this estate. And down here to Bankfoot. And up through the fields. Hitting the very extremities of the metro now, what with these fields are running through. Up to Callerton Parkway. And then wrapping round into the airport. And I think probably best to have them still be a reasonable distance apart there. Then we're looking at having a split across like so. And back the other way. Sorted. So. Not done too much. Just build a bit of track. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it there today. We built one branch. We built Newcastle Airport into city centre. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one.